Well, hey there, wonderful people. I'm Melanie. Welcome to Novi Yoga Studio, and welcome to Feel Good Friday. Today is a treat for the neck and shoulders to make sure those areas feel good. So we're going to start in any comfortable seat, and we're going to start with just a nice, easy neck release. So you're going to inhale, exhale, look over one shoulder. Inhale, come to center, and exhale, look over the other shoulder. Running that again, inhale, exhale, nice and easy, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, coming back to center. This time as you exhale, you're going to let your ear fall towards the shoulder, just letting the weight of your head carry the ear towards the shoulder, neutral chin, inhale, and then exhale, the other side to the gentle, gentle neck stretch. Never forcing, never pushing. Inhale. Exhale. And if you wish, you can pause here. You can bring the hand over the head, bringing your, your fingers towards your ear, bringing the other hand to the shoulder, and just very, very, very gently allowing the weight of each hand to deepen the stretch. Never pushing, never forcing. And then inhale, let the head float up. Exhale, take it to the other side, and again, if you want, you can bring your hand towards your ear, opposite hand to the shoulder, and take a few breaths here, getting some more length through the neck. And then you're going to let your head float up, and we're going to make our way, I'm going to make my way to the mat, and we're going to find our way into downward dog. So if you want to first find your way into all fours to position yourself, and then hips up and back. Let's take a good few breaths here in downward dog and really focus on opening up the, the upper back, the shoulder area, and taking some breaths into that area. So feel like you're breathing into the upper back. You're breathing in between the shoulder blades. You're breathing into the, the armpits, the shoulders, the back. If you wish, you can shake your head lightly back and forth, side to side, just to release any tension. Make sure you've got some movement in that area. And then you're going to walk your hands backwards. We're going to travel to the back of the mat, into ragdoll. And so we're going to soften the knees, relax in the spine forward. And let's create fists. And we're going to take opposite fists to opposite inner elbows. So allowing the arms to be in that position, continuing to hang forward, breathe deeply. And this position signals the major back muscles to release. So as you breathe deeply, hopefully you begin to feel some space, some openness being created in the back of the body, around the mid-back or shoulder blade area. And then letting your hands hang, and we're going to walk the hands forward. Let's come into all fours and hands and knees for extended puppy pose, or anahata asana. So not quite a child's pose, similar shape. The hips stay stacked over the knees, and we're going to walk the hands forward. From here, you're going to relax the forearms down into the mat, and you're going to melt your chest down towards the mat. Your nose, your chin, your forehead might come to the mat depending on your flexibility. I'd like you to take a few breaths here. Just like in Downward Dog, we're going to breathe into the upper back. Breathe into the shoulder blade area. Breathe into the neck. You're going to slide your hands back toward you, come into all fours. We're going to start this on the right side. Sit back onto your heels. Inhale, draw your right hand back toward you. Exhale, circle the arm up and around. Get your head, your neck, your chest, your torso into the movement. Inhale, drop back. Exhale, circle the arm around. Let's take a few more. Inhale. Exhale. Getting some movement through the upper body. Inhale. Exhale. And we're going to thread the needle. 
So you can either come on to your forearm so that the shoulder is stacked over the elbow, or you can thread your arm completely through so that your head resting on the head and the shoulder. From here, you're going to make sure your hips are square. You can reach your, your other arm to the sky, or you can wrap it around your back in a sort of half line, rolling the shoulder back. Taking a couple of breaths here into this twist and shoulder opener. Then taking your left hand to the mat, unthread your right arm. From all fours, lift up, downward dog. Taking your right leg towards the sky, bring your knee in towards your chest. Step your foot up, warrior one. So coming up into the warrior. From here, we're going to join the hands behind the back. We're going to come forward into a fold, so bringing the torso to the top of the thigh, or we can bring the torso to the inner knee, inner thigh. Letting the knuckles lift up towards the sky, breathing into the upper body. Letting your head relax. If you can't quite comfortably combine the hands, join the hands, you can actually hold a strap so the hands will be wider. So if you want to place a strap between the hands, you can. And then you're going to bring your hands down to the inside of the foot. Walk the hands over to the middle of the feet. Now I'm actually going to turn to these two here. And we're going to find a goddess stance. So you're going to shorten the stance. Heel toe the feet closer together. Toes angled out. Heels in. And we're going to roll up into our goddess pose. So we've got the knees right over the toes. We're going to sit down and back a little bit more. And eagle arms here. We're going to cross the right arm over the left. So nestling the elbows into each other, backs of hands or palms to touch. Now if you can't quite come into this eagle arm position, you can just cross up the forearm. You can hold opposite shoulders, or you might want to give yourself a nice big bear hug. And that's going to allow you to release the upper back, what we're targeting here. So we're going to inhale, whatever position you're in, we're going to lift the face, we're going to lift the elbows. And exhale, we're going to bring the elbows in towards the ribs. Curling in and again, inhale. And exhale, so creating lots of space between the shoulder blades, up the back. And again, inhale. And exhale. Now this time as we rise, we'll straighten the legs. We'll take the arms out to the sides and we'll open up down to a nice wide base, edges of the feet parallel. Join your hands behind the back. We'll roll the heart open for a moment and then we'll come on forward into our wide leg forward fold. Again, if the hands can't connect, you can hold a strap between the hands. And then from here, release your hands down. You're going to bring your right hand to the center of the mat underneath your nose. Inhale to a long spine. Exhale, stretch the other arm up towards the sky, ringing out the spine, releasing tension in the upper back. Inhale, place the hand. Exhale, stretch the other hand towards the sky. Make sure the hips are, are even, are level. Let's take it again. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And bring your hand to the mat. And from here, we're going to walk the hands out to frame the right foot. We're going to step back into plank. Let's take it through a vinyasa of your choosing. And up and back. Downward up. So from here, we're going to come down into all fours again, and we're going to take the series on the other side. So let's start with that extended puppy pose, Anahata Asana, stretching your arms forward and releasing your heart down, down, down towards the mat. And sliding the hands back towards you, all fours, sit back onto the heels, inhale, draw the left arm back now, exhale, circle the arm up and around. Inhale, exhale, getting the whole body into that movement, exhale, 
And one more breath. Now threading the needle, you can either come onto your forearm with the other arm stretched to the sky, or if you can, thread the arm all the way through, coming onto the head, the shoulder, squaring up your hips. Opposite arm can extend towards the sky, or you can wrap the arm around the back, rolling the shoulder back. And taking your hand down to the mat, unthread that arm, coming into all fours and up into downward dog. Warrior one, left leg now reaches towards the sky, bring your knee in, stepping your foot up, warrior one. In the warrior, we're going to combine the hands behind the back, or you can take hold of your strap, and we're going to fold forward, coming to the inner knee, inner thigh, knuckles to the sky. Bringing your hands down to the inside of the foot, walk the hands over to the middle of the feet, and adjust your stance for goddess, so shorten the stance, toes out, heels in, rolling on up. Finding your way into goddess stance, and then again, you can cross just at the forearms, you can hold opposite shoulders, you can give yourself a big bear hug, or come into your eagle arms. Inhale, we're going to lift, lifting the elbows. And exhale, whatever position you're in, take that bow forward. And again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift the hands, the elbows, the face. Exhale, lots of space being created in your upper back as you draw in. This time as you rise, straighten your legs, reach the arms out, and find a nice wide stance now, edges of the feet parallel. Join the hands behind the back for a counter pose. Lift your heart to the sky. And come on forward into that fold. Again, if you can't combine the hands comfortably, you can hold the strap. And release your hands down to the mat. Taking your left hand to the center of the mat, inhale. Exhale, reach the other arm to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Riding that again. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Hand to the mat. Walk the hands out to frame your left foot. Step back into your plank pose, vinyasa. In your downward dog, walk the hands back towards the feet, ragdoll. Roll up into a standing position. On your inhale, draw the shoulders up nice and smooth. I'm just going to turn to face you. Exhale, circle the shoulders down. So just a few shoulder rolls here. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and then you can come on down to your comfortable seat, and it might be nice to close with a neck release again, so take a breath in, exhale, looking over one shoulder, inhale, exhale, neutral chin, inhale, center, Exhale, neck release, letting the ear fall towards the shoulder. If you want to bring your hand to your ear, hand to the shoulder, you can. And then inhale. And exhale, other side. And there you go. From there, if you want to hang out in child's pose, shavasana, relaxation, or maybe you want to try the sequence again. So I hope that your neck, shoulders, uh, back are all feeling very good on this Feel Good Friday. Happy practicing. Thank you for joining me. Shanti.